This poem is called In Our Rented Cabin, and it begins with a gloss from a, an 8th eighth, eighth century poet named Tufu, who said, I live my late years as if I've stolen my life. My son and grandson sleep in the next room. I've been awake and up for hours, and they will probably sleep a few more. Is it an old man's hunger to take in all he can of what's left of his life? Though still a year short of 70, not really old yet, my father and grandfather didn't live much past it. This morning, I think I'm up early for them, watching the first light spread like soft butter over the rolling meadows of the foothills and the little green pastures on the mountains above. I can't get enough of this moment. What is it that urges me on to take it all in, to save what I can for them to see through my eyes? After the rain, I spot a young barn owl standing by the road, peering at his own reflection in a puddle, or so it seems, when I pull off on the shoulder to see if I can help. Dazed, probably struck by a car, though not visibly wounded, he looks up across the puddle where I'm standing, as if to ask about this wondrous underground bird he is seeing, <laughs> as if to ask if I see it too. My skeleton, who once ached with your own growing larger, are now, each year, imperceptibly smaller, lighter, absorbed by your own concentration. When I danced, you danced. When you broke, I. And so it was lying down, walking, climbing the tiring stairs. Your jaws, my bread. Someday you, what is left of you, will be flensed of this marriage. Angular wrist bones, arthritis, cracked harp of rib cage, blunt of heel, opened bowl of the skull, twin platters of pelvis, each of you will leave me behind, at last serene. What did I know of your days, your nights? I who held you all my life inside my hands, and thought they were empty. You who held me all your life in your hands, as a new mother holds her own unblanketed child, not thinking at all. <laughs>